I have to say, I've tried desperately to be very proper with my kids and teach them the, the right words for, for their body parts because I, I didn't want my daughter running around, you know, in school saying front, bottom or, you know, whatever it was. So one day I sat them down and I said, you've got a vagina to my daughter and you've got a penis to my son. And of course, vagina quickly turned into vagina or pyjamas now. <laughs> so now my son walks around saying that Jane has got a pyjama and I don't have a pyjama. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's kind of funny. My, my husband cringes, but I, I do think it's kind of important that they, that they don't shy away from it because I know that in our house, when I was growing up, nudity and, and body parts, you know, weren't talked well, about hidden. openly and, and you know you don't want people to feel shy or you know your kids to grow up feeling but, shy but they or have coy. The it can have the opposite effect though I mean my boys are absolutely obsessed with their willies and mummy's bits and <laughs> mummy where's your willy and was it cut off and all this kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous but uh, you know I guess that's quite normal for kids they're curious aren't they but oh, it, it can yeah. get embarrassing when they come out with these kind of things in front of visitors or you know you wonder what they're saying in the playground and and there's also this thing about, you know, what is inappropriate behaviour for them between each other, you know, because they like the way it feels when they touch their that's willies or penis, true. I should say. <laughs> but, right. you know, is it appropriate for my younger son to be touching my older son's willy? But he wants him to. Yeah. But, you know, what do you say to kids? Oh, I know. Look, I, actually, we, to my son, because he, he just he will happily sit there with his hand down his pants, you know, on the couch. It's like his father, I should know. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I can do that. Um, and, um, and what I've taken to say to you is, Cooper, you know, do it in private. You know, that's, that's a private thing. And I've told him, you know, what private parts are all about. You know, these are things that you don't show to other people. I know it feels good, but just do it in private. And so he quickly, the hand will go out and... But what's go he back in again. doing? Oh, he <laughs> plays with it. He stretches it and, yeah. you know... Tries to put his finger in the foreskin and just stretches it again. And I suppose it's a bit it. like picking your nose. It. It's kind it. of something to do, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's an extremity to play with, isn't yeah. it? Which we haven't yeah. got. It's interesting that you were talking about Willy and you're talking about penis. <laughs> because that's the thing as well. I find, I have to say, as vagina and penis I find so clinical. Yeah. Yeah. I like sort of like, you know, Willy, you Fanny. Say and front bottom. Oh, no, Fanny. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sort of stuff I, my, my kids say front bottom. Yeah. Yes. Front bottom. But they know, and I told them from an early age, that the boys' one is called a penis and the girls' one is a yeah. vagina. Mm. And I've told well, them... they know the real one. I've told them all about what happens when a baby's born and everything. Yeah. Oh, oh, I've shied away from Did you volunteer that? that? Oh, no. or yeah. they, did you respond to their, them asking you? I, I volunteered it, possibly when they were too young to understand. Because they but say that when a child asks, it's the time that they're ready for the yeah. answer. You shouldn't sort but of mine are asking, pass information but I'm on. I'm terrified they'll try it out because, you know, because they're so experimental and they do play with their bits the whole time. I'm frightened that if I say, well, you know, how you get a baby is the willy goes up the fanny, that they'll be trying yeah, it on their girlfriends, yeah. you know, because I... Why wouldn't they? Because that's interesting, they? isn't it? They're six and seven, you know. So I'm quite frightened of telling them. But they'll probably have their bits. Yeah. They go, you know, they're sort of like girlfriends. I remember at school we used to have a table. This was in kindergarten and everything, and there were two to a table. And there was this boy Bruce that sat next to me, and he used to do that. But everybody did. It wasn't sort of un, unnatural. Only because we are. But in in that environment, it seemed that we were all doing it. And he was just be there. It was like his hands down his trousers and everything and we always had to wear skirts and it was I'll show you yours if, if you oh, show yeah. me mine. Oh, oh, yeah. done, so it was like, yeah. all right, yeah. Bruce, like this and everything. <laughs> so he's up like, like this and everything. And I've turned around and I've got my skirt like this and done like this. Well, of course, the table's like this. The teacher can see straight through. And we were caned, well, oh, rulered yeah. and everything. But did that put you off? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> it was well, in that fact, we hadn't quite seen enough. <laughs> either. But we'll carry on in the playground then. I think <laughs> before that's always will, like, yeah, discovery. Yeah. 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 It is discovery. Yeah. And it's innocent discovery because you're not you can't use that in a way that's going to be dangerous or anything like that. It is childish. And that's the thing with the child's mind. It is only capable of knowing that much. And it doesn't go sort of deeper. As we get older, you get become more learned. That's what I'm saying about do you volunteer the information? Because usually they ask when they're ready yeah. to know. And it's like you can gauge their development by the questions that they ask. I volunteered because they were IVF and I did a, t a, a television programme. I didn't want them to go into school and for uh, the other kids yeah, going, you're yeah. a test tube baby. So yeah. what I volunteered to them was not Daddy gets his willy and puts it in Mummy's front bottom or anything like that. I didn't, <laughs> we didn't do any of I that. Like it was... <laughs> 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 in case you weren't sure. <laughs> um, I had to explain to them that, um, that 
bought what in vitro fertilization was and I said that you that know we we to explain mm. in a way <laughs> yes yeah, it was how, how babies come from she came up to me one day and said mum what's the needle in the back and I just went what and somehow she'd seen a picture of an epidural oh. and she said and I said okay well that's when some when you have a baby some ladies um you know want to have this needle in the back it takes away the pain she said did you have it and I said no she said why not and I said well I knew the pain would stop she said where's the pain come from you know where's the pain and I said well and I just said it, I said, well, the baby comes out of your vagina. And she goes, oh, can I have some milk? <laughs> and yeah. moved totally But she, she and couldn't comprehend it. That's the thing. It, it, was, it was easy. It was, she was four. Oh, that, that's right. And that's right. And then she said, well, I'm going to have the needle then. When I have my baby, I'm going to have well, the needle. Sensible. Because, yeah, she, yeah. Exactly. it's funny because she worked out, okay, it hurts when you have a baby, comes out there, mummy didn't have it, but I'm going to have it. Right, mm -hmm. now where's my afternoon How cool tea? is that? Sort of pregnancy and planning 20 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> four and a half, and she's got it all ticked off. <laughs> I know, but I mean, I just thought I wasn't going to muck around and say, you, you know. Come it's, and talk it's, to my boys and tell I'd them all about it because to. I can't do it. <laughs> you just sound like you've got it sussed together. I think so you've naturally. just got to pare it down to what they can get. And I remember this with my cousin's boys. I was pregnant, and, and one of them came up to me and said, How does the baby get out? And so I just told him, I said, Well, you know, you know how you've got your private parts. Yeah, well, I've got my private parts. And, blah, blah, blah. and it was really simple. But the, the killer was afterwards, I went up to my cousin and said, I just told um, Jamie how the baby comes out, and I said, what, what do you normally say to him? And she said, oh, I tell him it's special magic from God. And I said, well, he, he knows the vaginal delivery. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> it is so, funny how sort of parents can't sometimes face up to it, isn't it, though? Yeah. It's like it embarrasses them. And I think that's when the children get sort of more curious, because it's almost that's like for theory, it's, yeah, yeah, it's hidden, it's like it's a mystery. I want to sort of uh, discover yeah. it more and then that they kind of and I think you should be completely open with them. Oh, yeah. What no, about I walking around naked and sitting oh. in the bath and everything? Do you have any problem no, with that no. at all? We I do don't that all the at time. all but my husband now that the children are a little bit older my husband's very aware mm. of yeah. uh, with him he always puts his pants on when he gets out of bed mm. uh, just, and and the children funnily enough see my children are older now they're 11 so they don't walk around in front of Steve anymore, yeah, naked, yeah. you know, and they cover themselves up. Mm. Um, but would they in front of you as well? No, me, me and the kids, yeah, we'll, no problem. We'll uh, still have baths mm. together or showers and we cuddle and, yeah. you know, they get into bed with me and cuddle up and they go, oh, we love your boobies, mummy. And, <laughs> and I'm not going to say to them that it's wrong what they're doing because I'm their mum. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. know. And that's the thing, you don't want to, you don't want to repress them and so no. that they feel that it's weird or that they're going to mm. laugh about it at school or, or giggle or do something a bit illicit because they don't get the information or they, they don't, you know, they're not allowed to talk mm. about them or touch yeah. them or whatever it is. Uh, I mean, I think that with swear words as well. I've told my kids swear words and said, because I've got a daughter in school now and I said, this is a rude word, this is a rude word, this is a rude word. Blah, blah. And so if you hear it, don't worry, it's just, you know, a rude word. And she said, well, what does sugar mean then? And I just went, what? She said, what does sugar mean? Uh, and I said, oh, well, that's when mummy's trying not to say. <laughs> yeah. And then I said the other word that I'd explained. Yeah. It was really funny because she'd, she'd already identified that, you know, you say these couple of words, but sometimes they go, oh, sugar. <laughs> you go, well, what's wrong with that? So I think, yeah, just be open, I guess, isn't it? Mm.